Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Impact Pro Wrestling. If you like wrestling, if you like action, if you like being awesome and being epic, you are in the right place. We are here in the place so damn nice, they named it twice. New York, New York, and we have a stacked card for all of you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first match of the night. Jackson Wright going one-on-one -on -one with the one and only Ryan O. Ryan. The bad guy versus the manliest man in this company. Another great match for you. We have Jacob freaking Buck going one-on-one -on -one with Jack Smith. Our third match of the night. We have a man known for being insane. Adam Austin going one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Magic. We will see who will come out in this match. The winner will insanity overpower the Magic or is Magic Magic for a reason. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event. The Beast, of course, accompanied by his manager, Henry Long, goes one-on-one -on -one with Heath Gold. Our main event of the evening. This match, just like every other match that we have tonight, will be the first round of the Impact Pro Wrestling Tournament that we'll be having over the next month to decide our first ever Impact Pro Wrestling Champion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event, The Beast and Heath Gold. But now, I'll be taking you right now to the first match of the night, Ryan O'Ryan against Jackson Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our first matchup of the evening. And while this is also the first match of the first show, this is also the first match of the first round of the Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship Tournament. This tournament will be going on throughout the month. And the winner of that tournament, you may have guessed, you may not have guessed, but if you did or you didn't, you're going to learn right now. The winner of this tournament will be crowned Impact Pro Wrestling's number one, our first ever world champion. This is a huge moment for whoever wins this tournament. This is a huge moment for every single man that steps into this ring for this tournament, whether it's this man right here, Ryan O'Ryan. Whether it's his opponent coming up next, Jackson Wright. Whether it's some of the other men that we have in the back like Jacob Buck, Jack Smith, Johnny Starr, Justice, Beast, Trevor, Jericho, and any other man that is in the back is a huge opportunity. And these men are going to have to be going into this ring with everything they got. You cannot afford to hold back. Now... While Ryan O'Ryan is in the ring, here we see the bad guy, Jackson Wright, making his own way to the ring. Now, I know the bad guy, Jackson Wright, personally. This man is a cocky S.O.B. And he is prepared for this matchup. We'll see just how prepared he is. Because I also know Ryan O'Ryan very personally. And this man, well... He's the manliest man in Impact Pro Wrestling. He is not one to back down from a fight. And this is definitely going to be a fight here. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is prepared to start. Jackson Wright and Ryan O'Ryan. Ref's going to ring the bell. Let's see what happens here in the first match. It looks like Ryan O'Ryan is going to start off the match immediately with a big slam. And now look at that. Ryan being a little bit cocky here. Almost taunting Jackson by his stepping on him. Now you may have guessed by Ryan or Ryan's size here. He is not the kind of man to go up to the top rope and fly all around. This man is not a cruiserweight. And this man is not a high flyer. This man is a slow, methodical, beat down kind of man. He's going to take his time. He's going to beat every bone in your body so that when he goes for the pinfall, you will not kick out at two. You will not kick out at one. Hell, you won't kick out in a million. Jackson Wright's plan here has got to be to end this match as quickly as possible here. You do not want to drag out match with Ryan O'Ryan. For God's sake, the man's physique is devastating. 
The man's tattooed are scary enough. Looks like Jackson Wright hit him right there with that big boot. Great move there. Now Jackson Wright in control with that running neck twist right there. Now look at this. Ryan Orion showing off the bad guy skills right here by just raking the back of Ryan Orion. Jackson with that nice atomic drop. Now that's got to hurt the buttocks. But Ryan not going to take that lying down as he's able to reverse giving a big clothesline to Jackson and a big kick to the back as well, keeping Jackson down to the mat. Now Ryan flipping Jackson over just to stomp on that arm. Now Jackson not going to take that lying down as he's able to reverse Ryan O'Ryan's attempt to get Jackson up. No, but look at this. Looks like we got a string of reversals here. The question is, who is going to win this reversal war and appears so far Jackson is winning as he sends Ryan O'Ryan to the outside and deliver the neck breaker on the outside. Now Jackson right on the outside delivering some damage to Ryan O'Ryan. Now ladies and gentlemen this is a completely normal match here in Impact Pro Wrestling. You can be disqualified, you can be counted out after a 10 count, as you see the referee in the background counting the 10. Referee currently at 4, if I do believe so correctly. Now currently at 5. These men do not want to be counted out here. This match is very important. Oh, look at that. Ryan O'Ryan with a nice German suplex. Now, if these men are counted out, that, that means that this match is a no contest. Whoever wins the next match will be automatically pushed into the next round as they do not have to go to the second round there is no one there for them to face although both men are back in the ring currently but Ryan O'Ryan has taken control here oh look at that a great move performed by Ryan O'Ryan a back suplex face buster great move here now look at this Ryan going to the second row it looks like Ryan's gonna fly a little bit here going for a body splash on Jackson Wright, a great move there performed by Ryan. Going for a pinfall after that. Let's see if he can get it. He's got one. He's got two. But two does not decide a winner here. We need a three count. He was close. But still not able to win. But Ryan O'Ryan not going to worry about the two count. Not going to focus that he hasn't won yet. He's going to get back on the offensive on Jackson here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the logo on the back of Ryan's trunks here. You can see that brutality logo. You can tell by that logo and you can tell what Ryan is thinking. He does not play like a little kid. Ryan O'Ryan is not a little kid. He is not going to treat anybody like a little kid. This is one of the manliest men we have in Impact Pro Wrestling. He is here to win and we will see exactly what that brutality will give him here. It will give him a win, or if Jackson Wright will be able to outsmart him or outplay him. It seems right now that Ryan O'Ryan is in control once again, delivering devastating damage. Now look at this. Ryan O'Ryan going to the top rope now, willing to fly once again. And there it is. A big splash on Jackson Wright. Now when a man that Ryan O'Ryan size, when a man that size splashes on you, that's definitely going to cause a lot of damage to the abdomen here. Although it appears that Jackson Wright's going to fight through the pain as he reverses, giving Ryan O'Ryan that fireman's carry. Oh, but look at this. The cockiness of Jackson Wright taunting while he should be continuing his assault on Ryan. Although it appears that currently that taunting has not gotten him. Oh, looks like Ryan O'Ryan's going to stop me before I even finish my sentence here. Oh, but Jackson going to make me a fool again. Looks like you might have another reversal war going on here. Jackson Wright currently in control, but Ryan going to take control of that Irish whip reversal. And now Ryan sending Jackson to the outside once again. These men are back on the outside of the ring, not where they want to be. Oh, look at that. Jackson Wright sending Ryan or Ryan into the turnbuckle. Now Jackson delivering that big elbow drop on Ryan. Now look at this. Jackson measuring Ryan for a knee and a big clothesline on the outside. A great move performed by Jackson. 
Now, if I believe so, the referee is at a six count currently. These men do not want to be on the outside for too much longer as Ryan O'Ryan is able to get that big clothesline. Now, let's see if these men will be able to get back in the ring. Referee currently at an eight count. That's a nine. And both men are back into the ring. This match will continue. Oh, look at that. Ryan O'Ryan delivering some nasty punches to Jackson Wright. What's Ryan got planned here? He's going to step on Jackson once again, just injuring the ribs. Now, that injures the ribs, but you got to believe that that hurts your pride more than anything else. Oh, look at that. That time, he didn't step on him. That time, he just squashed him like a bug. And Ryan's going for the pinfall right after that. That's two. That was almost three. It looks like Ryan Ryan's a little bit frustrated at that pinfall. But it doesn't matter if he's frustrated. He still needs the three to win. But now look at this. Ryan, he's measuring Jackson. He's got to set up for his finishing move. We all know this to be called the manly ride and there is the finishing move sit out pinfall one two three jackson wright put on one hell of a show but in the end ryan o ryan was able to come away with that victory with his finishing move that sit out last ride that we all know that he calls the manly ride now here you see highlights of this epic matchup between both of these men. A great match performed by Ryan O'Ryan here as he moves on to the second round of this tournament. Now here you see the deciding moments of this matchup. Here you see the manly ride, the move that gave Ryan O'Ryan the victory here. This man has got to be a favorite to win this tournament. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to our second match of the night. We'll see who can win our next matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our second match of the evening. Jack Smith going one-on-one -on -one with Jacob freaking Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our next match of the evening. It'll be this man. You all know him as Jack Smith. <sighs> Sorry, I had to pause for that epic pyro sequence right there. Now, let me continue my statement. You all know him as Jack Smith. Going one-on-one -on -one with Jacob freaking Buck. Now, personally... I just have to root for Jacob freaking Buck. I think that Jacob has the advantage here. Now, while both of these men may be around the same age, maybe a year or two apart, I believe that simple... Well, you guys can see Jack right now. Now, both of these men are cocky. Both of these men do enjoy a good showboat. But when, when stuff gets real, when it's time to put down the toys... And to pick up the fighting gloves, I believe that this man, Jacob freaking Buck, can do it better than anybody. This man does not like to play games. This man is the realest man. This man is ready for anything. I got to give my own personal opinion here. I got to believe that Jacob freaking Buck is going to come away with the victory here. Like I said, both of these men are cocky. Both of these men like to tease a little bit, like to appeal to the fans a little bit. But when it's time to really put on the gloves, when it's time to really get started, you don't want anyone else in the world on your side. You don't want to bet on anyone except Jacob freaking Buck. There's a reason we call him Jacob freaking Buck, and you're about to see it during this match. Now this match is about to start. Jacob freaking Buck and Jack Smith. Ref has rung the bell. Let's get the match started. Jack Smith.
starting off the match with that nice spine buster on Jacob. But Jacob with the immediate reversal, blowing Jack Smith off of his body immediately. Jacob with that nice neck breaker from the back. Look at this. Jacob with that nice sent on. Look at this. Jacob going up to the top rope kind of early here. Although we will see what his plan is up to the top rope. And he's going for that clothesline from the top rope. A great move performed by Jacob. Pinfall early. He's got one. Oh, but look at that. Jacob not even going to let the ref get to and not going to give Jack Smith the courtesy of kicking out. Now that's what I was talking about. Jacob just like Jack a little bit cocky here. But you can't be cocky here. This is a tournament to crown the first world champion. This is not the time to be cocky. This is the time for real men to show what they can do here. As we saw earlier with Ryan Orion. Jack Smith with a nice reversal. And now a really, really nice knee to the face of Jacob Bug. That's going to leave a mark. Girls are not going to want to talk to Jacob for a while. Jack Smith with that nice drop kick to the back. Now Jack has a nice stomp. Trying to keep Jacob to the ground. Oh, Jacob getting up quickly after that. Jacob immediately putting the offense on Jack Smith with that Russian leg sweep. Jacob for another pinfall. I believe that was about 1 in 75%. Jack Smith able to kick out right before. Oh, look at that Jack Smith with that nice punch. Now a running neck breaker on Jacob Buck. A great move. Look at this. Jack Smith wrapping his legs around Jacob Buck in a head scissors here. Although Jacob Buck able to break out of it very quickly. And Jacob Buck able to gain momentum back here. Sending Jack Smith to the outside of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is no different from the match we saw earlier between Ryan O'Ryan and Jackson Wright. This match can end in DQ. This match can end in a countout. And for both of these men, that is something you do not want at all. Now for some men, yes, a win is a win. But in this kind of tournament, you need all the respect you can get. And you need all... The reputation you can get in winning a match via countout, that is just no respect at all. Very nice move right there performed by Jack Smith. Now Jack Smith sending Jacob Buck back into the ring. Now taking control of this matchup here. Jack Smith delivering a big knee right to the face of Jacob Buck. Now Jack going up to the second rope here, turning around. Going for an elbow drop on Jacob Buck. A great move there. Looks like Jack has something planned there. But Jacob able to sweep the leg. Going for a pinfall. But Jack able to kick out after the one fall. Gotta say, Jacob has been making a lot of pinfall attempts here. Without any damage to really back it up. Although Jack Smith on their hand, he is making this damage. He is cranking out as much damage as he possibly can. That doesn't appear to be Jacob's strategy. Jacob appears to be trying to win this match as quickly as possible. Not sure if Jacob has some sort of uh, illness that's affecting him tonight. Perhaps a stomach ache or some kind of headache. But it appears to be impeding his ability to really wrestle at his peak ability. I gotta say, I was voting for Jacob going into this match. But from what I'm seeing so far, I may be incorrect here. It's like Jack may be the one coming out. And I say that now, Jacob looks like he's taking control here. With a big DDT on Jack Smith. Now look at that. Jacob Buck with the peace sign and the bow to the crowd. Trying to get the crowd on his side. Now look at this. Jacob Buck. Looks like he's getting some momentum here. Getting some fire in his system. A couple clotheslines. And then he delivers a big power slam. But look at this. Jacob Buck. Oh, just stomping away on the chest of Jack Smith. That's going to give you some heart problems now. But Jack Smith not going to let that take that line down as he delivers a big running clothesline. Jack Smith delivering that big punch to the side of the head of Jacob Buck. 
Now Jack getting Jacob up here. And Jack delivering a very nice impaled DDT. Now Jack not going to go for a pinfall yet as he continues this devastating assault here on Jacob Buck. With some taunting there. Now Jack getting Jacob up here. What's he got planned? A snapmare. What's he got planned here in the snapmare position? Going for another punch, but Jacob able to escape it there, delivering an elbow. But Jacob not able to gain control here. And it looks like Jack is still in control of this matchup. Although Jacob with that nice reversal. Jacob with a punch here, trying to gain momentum back. A couple good punches. And he delivers a very nice back suplex. Now look at this. Jacob gonna rake the back of Jack Smith. Now Jacob finally in control here. Delivering a nice back suplex. Jacob once again pandering to the crowd here. The crowd does not seem to be happy about this. Now look at this. Jacob just admiring the work he's done on Jack Smith so far. Jacob is being very cocky here tonight. This is not the time for him to be getting cocky. Oh, look at this. Wait a minute. It looks like Jack Smith setting up for his finishing move. The electric chair driver going for the pinfall with it. Will we see a victory? That's two. And that is three. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. Almost complete domination throughout this match. Your winner here. It's Jack Smith. Now, that was a great match performed by Jack Smith. I wish I could say it was a great match performed by Jacob. But it looks like Jacob was just not on his A game here tonight. He was taking a lot of shortcuts, trying to get cheap, easy victories with these many pinfall attempts. While Jack Smith was taking the right direction. Almost a complete domination of this match. Cranking out as much damage as he could. And in the end, it was the deciding factor. Now, Jacob got in some good offense here, as you can see. But as you can see right here, Jack, with his electric chair driver, definitely ended this match off perfectly. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to your winner here, Jack Smith. Now, you can see here, Jacob Buck. Looks like he's going to extend his hand for a handshake. Some sportsmanship here in this tournament. And, oh, God! Jacob Buck with a low blow. like Jacob Buck is a sore loser here. Not going to give any respect to a hard-fought match. What a disgrace to wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our third match of the evening. Kevin Magic versus Adam Austin. This will be a glorious match. Let us hope that this match does not end as horribly and as disrespectful as our previous match with Jack Smith and Jacob Buck did. Let us see how this match will work out. Will magic prevail or will insanity rule the ring? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this match underway. Here comes our first competitor, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes right now, wearing the black Wearing the yellow and wearing the purple here is Kevin Magic. Now, I don't know about all of you fans here. I don't know about all you fans watching at home, but Kevin Magic personally just doesn't sit right with me. I'm not sure why that is. I don't know why. I feel like Kevin Magic does not have a very good chance of winning this tournament. Now, don't get me wrong. Kevin Magic is a great wrestler, and he's very entertaining to watch. He's a very strong man, as you can tell by his physique, but I don't see Kevin Magic walking out of this tournament a winner. I think his attitude is the one thing that really holds him back from being the main event player, from being the world champion. But of course, that's my opinion. It is my thoughts on the future. I am not God. I am not a fortune teller. I do not dabble in the world of voodoo. We will see what Kevin Magic can do in the future here. But now, here comes the insanity that is Adam Austin.
And you never know what Adam's going to do here in Impact Pro Wrestling. We will see if Adam Austin will be able to walk away from this matchup with a victory. And moving on to the second round of this tournament for the Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, that's Kevin Magic, and that is the insanity that is Adam Austin. The ref's going to ring the bell, and let's get the match underway. Kevin Magic starting off the match with that nice neck breaker on Austin. Now look at this. Kevin going to turn Austin inside out for a nice neck breaker. Now it seems that early in this match, Kevin Magic is taking control. However, normally, normally, I would say that that would put Kevin in a very nice advantage here. Get as much damage as you can, as early as you can. However, it's very hard to say that with a man like Adam Austin. I have pointed out countless times that Adam Austin is not exactly the most sane of human beings. He's a very crazy man and you don't know what he's going to do or how he's going to do it. So this match, I cannot honestly predict who will win. I can't say that Magic will prevail and I can't say that Insanity will prevail. This is a match we have to see who wins. We'll see who is the best tonight. It looks like so far... Adam Austin is taking control here. Looks like Kevin took control during the extremely early parts. But looks like now Adam Austin is in control here. Sending Kevin Magic to the outside with that strong Irish whip. Now Austin getting Magic back up. I'm not sure where Austin is dragging Magic to. Gonna set him up on that ring post just to slam his head into it. Austin being a brutal man here. Austin just slamming Kevin into the, uh, the apron there. Oh, look at that. But now Kevin Magic gonna get a little bit of payback here, slamming Adam Austin into the ring post. Now Kevin throwing... Adam back into the ring now. Of course, this match is just as normal as Smith and Buck and as Ryan and Wright. Count outs are in effect here. Austin with that nice reversal. Looks like Austin had lost control for a moment, but the minute they get back in the ring, Austin gets his control back with a nice drop kick to Kevin Magic. Often going for the pinfall and only able to get a one fall right there. Now look at this. Austin with that nice fisherman suplex from a very odd position. Like I said, Adam Austin being a little bit more eccentric, a little bit more insane here than other people. I would not have thought him to be able to pull off that maneuver from that position. But I guess that's the insanity that is Adam Austin. Now Austin going to the second rope here. Going for a senton from the second rope. A great move right there. Austin going for another pinfall. He's got one, but Magic able to kick out. Adam Austin taking a lot of pinfall attempts during this matchup. Now this may not be correct, but I believe that past pinfall attempt was perhaps his fourth pinfall attempt throughout this whole match. And this match has not been going on for very long. It appears that Austin wants to end this match very early. Although he's not putting out the damage he needs to. To be making this match end early. Although he is maintaining control. Almost entirely here. Looks like Kevin just cannot find his, uh, his footing here. Oh look at this. Kevin going for a double axe handle. But Austin able to avoid it and sending him down with that very nice Samoan drop here. Now going for the pinfall. Now the referee says that was two, but I only saw maybe like 1 and 75 again. Kevin Magic with that nice arm drag reversal. 
Now Kevin going for a pinch ball. That's one. And Austin able to kick out at one. Now perhaps Kevin Magic might finally be able to gain some offense here to gain some kind of control. Through most of this match, Adam Austin has been in control, but it appears that now Kevin Magic is finally gaining some kind of dominance, gaining some kind of control here. Kevin Magic about to stomp on the back of the arm of Adam Austin, going for a pinfall here. Oh, but look at that. Adam Austin immediately grabbing the ropes. Very smart by Adam Austin. Not going to waste energy with kicking out. He's going to grab the ropes. A very smart man. Insane, but smart. Which is a very, very deadly combination. Kevin went for that camel clutch submission. But Adam Austin was able to break out of it. Although Kevin Magic not going to stay down for too long. Oh, look at this. Very nice move right there performed by Kevin Magic. We call that the Magic Slinger. But now look at this. Oh, look at this. Looks like Kevin Magic is finally gaining momentum here. Gaining fire. Oh, look at that. Nice reversal right there by Adam Austin. Adam Austin. Now look at this. Setting up Kevin Magic for the Gory Bomb. A great move right there. Performed by Adam Austin. Look at this. Adam Austin getting fired up here. It's not going to be good for Kevin. If Adam Austin really gets on a roll here. Look at this. Adam pump handle and a punch in the face. A nice combo there performed by Adam Austin. Look at this. Adam going to the top rope. What's he looking for here? Top rope. It's going for his finishing move. The seven star frog splash. The pinfall connected. That's two. And that is three. Ladies and gentlemen, I could not predict the winner. I could not predict if insanity would rule this matchup or if magic would prevail. But it appears that the magic of the night just wasn't enough to give Kevin Magic the win tonight. Looks like insanity is really strong in this city and in Adam Austin. Enough to give him the victory. A great match, however. Although I gotta say, Kevin Magic, he was getting dominated for the large majority of this match. He had his moments here, but it appears that Adam Austin was just in control for so much of it. Now here you see the ending of the match. That seven-star frog splash performed by Adam Austin. His finishing move accompanied by the one, two, three. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a short break here while we air some commercials. I suggest that you take a break as well. Use the bathroom. Go get yourself a beer. Go get yourself a water. Because our next match is the main event, and you do not want to miss it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event of the evening. It'll be that man on the left. His name is Beast. Going one-on-one -on -one with that man on the right, Heath Gold. We will see which one of these men will walk away. Not only the victor of our first ever main event, but walking away to go on to the second round of this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for this match to begin. It looks like this. Here comes uh, here comes Henry Long, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, Henry Long, the manager of Beast. We'll see what uh, I, I guess what Henry Long has to say here. Beast is not with him, so I'm assuming Henry Long has something to say here. We'll have to see in a moment. Time for this main event. Um, 
more interested in seeing beef, but we'll see what happens here. Ladies and gentlemen, we just heard Henry Long give this man the most well-deserved and beloved introduction. And here he is standing before us getting ready for the match ahead of him. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Beast. Gotta say, Henry Long's introduction to this man was basically the exact thing that we were expect this man is a very muscular man's man is very very tall and uh i cannot i i can't do anything i cannot help heath gold at all i can't try to make him feel better i cannot try to root for him in this matchup i've seen heath gold but now looking at beast here i i can't i can't root for heath at all it looks like this match might be just utter domination You can see Beast smiling in the ring. He knows what's about to happen. Now here comes Heath Gold here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do not get me wrong. Heath Gold is a tremendous competitor in his own right. But uh, looking at Beast in the ring, I'm just not so sure what Heath will be able to do in this matchup. Looks like Heath isn't worried though. Coming down to the ring just as cocky as ever with that golden hair. Ready for this matchup. It looks like Heath is ready for this. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has begun. Ref has rung the bell. It looks like B starting off the match aggressively with that Irish whip. No, oh my god! I guess you can call that the super flapjack, just sending Heath up into the air and then letting him crash down to the mat. Now Beast in control, early part of this matchup here. Going for a pinfall very early, but Heath Gold able to kick out almost immediately there. Oh, but Beast trying to keep Heath down to the mat. Now look at this Heath getting some kind of control here. Irish whipping Beast and now sending him down to the floor for a shoulder tackle. Heath Gold now stomping right on that arm of Beast. Now Heath Gold gaining a little bit of a momentum of his own here. Heath Gold not intimidated apparently by the size of this Beast. Oh look at that. He's going for some kind of elbow drop, but Beast able to move out the way, ruining Heath's plans. Running neck twist here performed by Beast. And now a big elbow drop performed on Heath. Beast going for another pinfall here. He's got one, but Heath once again able to kick out at one. Remember, all of these matches are for advancement in the tournament so that we can decide who will be our first ever Impact Pro Wrestling World Champion. This is a big chance for Heath and he does not want to lose it here. He's going to have to try everything he can to beat this massive man that we know is Beast. East Gold delivering some elbows into Beast's gut here. Now look at this. Now I can't say I appreciate the taunting right there by Heath. This is not the time for you to be taunting. Now look at that. That is where the taunting got him. Beast had enough time to recover and reverse here. 
Now Beast back in control of this matchup. Gonna be hitting Heath with that big clothesline. Getting them up for something else here. Another big clothesline. Still has that hand in his. Going for another big clothesline. Yes, he is. And this time he lets the hand go. And then a big kick to the back. Now here comes Beast with a big elbow drop from the second rope. Going for a pinfall here. And he's going immediately kicking out. Doing everything he can to stay alive during this matchup. Beast with a big elbow drop to the spine of Heath Gold. You can see Henry Long in the background. Extremely happy with the work his, uh, his client, his associate here is doing. You can see Beast now measuring his opponent here. Heath Gold almost completely immobilized here. Or perhaps not. Looks like he's playing possum. As he's able to reverse whatever Beast had planned here. Now he's sending Beast to the outside of the ring. Look at this. What's he's got planned? A back suplex. He goes on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. A very nice move performed by Heath. But Beast not going to let that go unnoticed. As he's able to reverse almost immediately. But Heath with a reversal of his own. Sending Beast into the ring post. Heats that nice kick to the back of Beast. Look at this Beast with that running overhead belly to belly suplex. And look at this locking in that clutch on Heath Gold. This is not a submission match. And even if it was, you can't win on the outside of the ring. He's go with that atomic drop. He's getting Beast back into the ring and now he's himself getting back into the ring. He's going for a pinfall on Beast here. Roll them over. Here it comes. That's one. But Beast able to kick out. Neck breaker here performed by Heath Gold. Now you can see Heath Gold trying to measure Beast. Heath Gold sending Beast into the corner for a big corner drop kick. Look at this, he's got Beast for a nice DDT. What's Henry Long got planned here? Trying to distract the referee a little bit. Look at this now. Henry trying to interfere in this matchup. Distracting. He's gold. Giving B some time to recover here. He's got to stay on top of this. Here comes the gold maker. The finishing move. By Heath Gold. Will this be it? Oh no it is not. You can see in the background. Henry Long here distracting the referee. Referee not being able to make the call. Oh, but look at this. The referee sending Henry Long away from here. He's giving the signal. Looks like Henry Long has been banned from ringside. This match now strictly once again a one-on-one. -on -one. It is Beast and it is Heath Gold. He's now in that corner trying to gain momentum here. He's lost his manager. He's lost the man who needs to talk for him. Let's see what he'll be able to do here. Back suplex face buster right there performed by Beast. A great move. Then a nice elbow drop on Heath Gold. Now Beast back in control again, dominating right now. Although we do know in wrestling that can turn on the flip of a... Oh, Jesus. Well, the flip of Heath Gold right there. He just took the full force of that Gord Buster right here performed by Beast. Now Beast dragging him. 
Going for a back drop kick. And what the beast got planned here. Looks like he's measuring Heath for something here. Looks like he's measuring him for Beast's own finishing move. Here comes the spear. Dead center. Right on Heath's gold. Breaking the man in half. Here comes the pinfall. That's one. That's two. And that is three. And ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. Beast. Now a great match performed by both of these men. You gotta believe that Heath Gold might have won this matchup if it wasn't for Henry Long being at ringside. Although regardless of this, I suppose in the Raw's form, the winner is Beast. Regardless of the controversial circumstances of the victory, the winner is the winner. Which means Beast will be moving on to the second round of this Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship Tournament that will be taking place over the next month. Now here you see the last moments of this match. Beast spearing Heath Gold and here comes the pin for the one, the two, and the three. Now ladies and gentlemen, here comes Henry Long back down to ringside. Coming back down to accompany his uh, his client, his advocate, I suppose, with his celebration of his victory over Heath Gold. Of course, Beast moving on to the second round of the tournament. I mean, Long got banned from ringside. Now he's back trying to celebrate. Beast, Ryan O'Ryan, Adam Austin and Jack Smith are all your winners tonight. All of them will be moving on to the second round of the tournament. Now next week we will be seeing who will be the next four people to move on to the next round. Now we hope that you enjoyed the very first episode of Impact Pro Wrestling. We hope that you can continue to enjoy for the tournament is continuing. We need a world champion and it will be decided at our first pay-per-view. We hope to see you again next week here on Impact Pro Wrestling.